This is a Chemistry 12 review video uh, for metal refining using electrolytic cells. Uh, demonstrate the electrolytic aspects of the metal refining process. This is very similar to our previous example in which we uh, plated a child's booty uh, with silver. And we took, uh, in the first part, we had a silver anode and a booty. Here's the cathode that we plated. In this example, uh, to refine a metal, we have something like, say, blister copper, which is an impure form of copper. So over here we have blister copper um, that is going to act as our anode. Our cathode will put a thin rod in of uh, pure copper. Now we will then plate from uh, the anode to the cathode. Um, but remember our blister copper is impure. What exactly is going to go on? We know the general reaction is that at the anode, a solid metal uh, gives off electrons to become the ion. At the uh, cathode, electrons are added to the um, ion, metal ion to become the solid. But how can we be sure that this is all going to be copper? Well, first of all, we've made this solution copper plus two. And so we've set that up so that this is a copper solution. Now let's check with our table of reduction potentials. In our table of reduction potentials, what are possible species? Our possible species are, uh, we have solid copper, which is, oh, we have solid lead, which is here, and we have gold, and silver, and there's some solid copper, there's some solid copper, and then further down we find some zinc. As well as species we have copper plus two, and that is all we have in our solution that we need to worry about other than water. So we have some water there and some water here. Now these are all species that are present in solutions, so what's going to happen? Well, first of all, the strongest agent here is zinc. So on this side, that will be the first reaction that will happen at the anode, is that the zinc solid will come off and make zinc plus two. So all the zinc will happen first. It is the strongest. And I just realized I didn't say the strongest what. It is the strongest reducing agent. Now, when all the zinc runs out, then the lead will start coming off into lead ions, and you'll have lead plus two. So now the lead will continue to come off as the next strongest uh, reducing agent. Now, over here, what about the oxidizing agent? What's going to happen here at the cathode, at the pure copper? What will this be coated with? Well, the strongest oxidizing agent is the, actually the one furthest up. The one furthest up is copper plus two. So copper plus two will actually start to plate. And so this will slowly become filled with copper. Even though uh, zinc and lead are both here coming out of, um, of the... Um, first came out of the anode and created zinc plus two and lead plus two, it's not going to plate because as long as there's copper present, copper plus two to be present in solution, it will continue to plate. And there isn't as much zinc and lead because this is essentially mostly copper. These are just present as impurities. They're still mostly copper. You'll quickly run out of zinc and lead and then you'll start to generate copper at the anode. So now all the copper will come off is copper plus two. And this will keep the solution full of copper and the copper will continue to plate until all the copper is gone. And as the copper leaves, it will the um, electrode itself will lose structure. And so you'll get bits falling off of the gold and the platinum and the silver that are left and that will form a sludge at the bottom of, of the beaker. So once it's done, you'll be left with a, a, a cathode of pure copper uh, your blister copper will have all have disappeared and been used up. Uh, you will have put into solution some lead and zinc ions, and you'll have a, a fairly valuable sludge on the bottom. So, 
Lead and zinc are stronger reducing agents and are oxidized first and then the copper solid. Only copper plus two deposits at the cathode. It is the strongest oxidizing agent present. And gold, silver, and platinum drop to the bottom of this particular cell. You should definitely sell that sludge to another company who specializes in uh, recovering it because that will be very valuable sludge. And this is how you use an electrolytic cell to purify a metal by electrolysis. This concludes this Chemistry 12 review.